What's up everyone? My name is Yella Joy and I'm a plant mom. I have over 65 plants in my 408 square foot studio. I have been a plant mom since January of 2018 and in this video I'll be showing you guys my current favorite house plants and my least favorite house plants. So if you're interested then keep on watching. My number one favorite house plant is my spineless yucca. Here let me see if I can drag him over. His name is Ruffy. Hi Ruffy, I love you. Can I show you to my friends? He said yes. <laughs> okay, let me try to carry this guy. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, this is him. Look at him, he's beautiful. He's growing a new leaf. <laughs> this is not a good idea, but it's okay. Um, yeah, this is my best friend. <laughs> This is my favorite houseplant of the year. Number one favorite, actually. He's a spineless yucca. He's very easy to take care of. I highly recommend getting one of these for your home because it's just a good, like, statement piece and it's really big and they're super easy to take care of. He likes bright indirect sun. He's easy to take care of and he's hard to kill. Best plant ever. I swear to God, just get one. It's a good houseplant and they'll love you forever. They're so cute. Hi, Ruffy. I love you. Okay, moving on. Second favorite house plant, my Hoya. She's so freaking cute. I love her so much. I don't know what to name her, but she's super easy to take care of. It's a trailing plant. She's so freaking cute, especially in this little pot. Like, oh my God, I can't wait until she trails. But she's super easy to take care of. I love Hoyas. They like bright and direct sun. I gave it banana fertilizer and it thrives so much. Look at this. Like, it used to be like not out of the pot, like how it looks like right now. It used to be just be like inside of the pot. So now it's beautiful and growing and thriving. I love it so much much highly recommend getting this and yeah second favorite house plant of the year Mwah. third favorite house plant is my string of hearts oh my god look at her she's so beautiful i just got her recently like a month or two ago and she was like right here you can tell that she's been growing new leaves because they're a lighter green and she just keeps growing like she's so easy to take care of they're super cute too because look at it's literally a string of hearts like it's so pretty huh wait do i is this a string of hearts Wait, I think this might be a string of spades. Oh shit. Hold on, BRB. Oh shoot, you guys. I think this is actually a string of spades. Because this right here is a string of hearts. And then this right here is a string of spades. I think this is spades. So I guess my third favorite house plant is a string of spades because this is a string of hearts. I'm taking care of my mom's string of hearts right now because she doesn't know how to take care of it. But same family they both do grow really fast i love it so much wow this whole time i thought i had string of hearts i guess not but anyway here let me put this away same family whatever string of spades super cute so it's a string of spades not hearts and they grow so fast and easily like wow look at this it's freaking beautiful and it's still growing it's so pretty. It's such a beautiful trailing plant. I highly recommend getting one of these. They're so cute and so easy to take care of. They like bright and direct light. I have this in a south facing window that doesn't get direct sun and it's just beautiful. They grow so pretty. But yeah, third favorite house plant right here. My fave. I could literally wear it as a necklace. Here is number four. My fourth favorite houseplant is my aluminum plant. Super freaking cute and beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it has a little sunburn. Huh, I wonder why. I have it in bright and direct light. It's in a north facing window and I don't know why it's getting that. I don't know, maybe that was there when I got it. I don't remember. But it's super cute, super easy to take care of. You can tell when it's thirsty, it'll droop down. I just watered it this morning, so it's fine. But it's super cute, super easy to take care of, and I'm pretty sure this grows really nice and long. So I really like this one, and it literally looks like aluminum. It's so, like, cute! Highly recommend! Get one now! Mwah. Here goes my fifth one, my creeping saxifrage. So cute. I love her because look it. She's literally so bold. Her pinkness at the bottom is so bold. You can't really tell on camera, but like in person, it's so freaking pink. Well, not really pink. It's more like a magenta and it's freaking beautiful. She's so soft and fuzzy and it feels so good. She's so freaking cute. She's also growing a new leaf. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a sprout right here where my nail is and she's growing. She's so cute, so easy to take care of. She likes bright and direct light, and she's super fuzzy and soft, and she feels so good. Like, I can literally hang out with her and touch her for days. So freaking cute. Another houseplant that I recommend. And she likes being next to the window, 
and she's super cute. Mwah. Here's my sixth favorite house plant. This is a polka dot plant. I love her. She's so pretty. Look at her variegations and different colors. She's like pink, magenta, and white. I don't really recommend her for a first time house plant pairing because she's kind of hard to take care of. You have to mist her like every day or every other day. They like humidity. When they need water, it looks like they're dying, but really they just need water. Once you water them when they look like they're dying, they like go back to life. Like last week, this girl looked like she was dead. I was so scared, but then I ended up watering her and she ended up coming back to life so now she looks nice and bloomy but she's super cute super freaking fun i love how they feel it's kind of like hmm, i don't know how to explain it like kind of like a rough feel but you can feel like the edge of the leaves it's just so pretty super cute highly recommend super fun especially when she's like well Actually, no, it's not really fun when she pretends to die. I love how she looks in this pot. It matches her personality so well. And yeah, I just love her. She's so freaking cute. I highly recommend getting her if you're willing to take care of her every single day. Super cute. Love her. Mwah. My seventh favorite houseplant is this Wandering Jew. This is a rare one. I think the scientific name is like Tradescentia Nanook. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but she's so beautiful. Look at her. She's like purple and beautiful and pretty. Uh, my mom got this for me from Grocery Outlet for only $5. $5! And she's rare. So freaking you she likes bright and direct light and i just repotted her and she's super pretty and they're easy to propagate i have another watering jew let me show you this is part of my favorite house plants too but they're the same family so same thing but look it so freaking cute this one is like a dark purple and then this one is like a light purple magenta looking so freaking cute super easy to propagate i propagated this one and it literally sprouted within two days it's so freaking cute and they're so easy to take care of i heard that they bloom so fast like this one is a trailing one super cute and fun if you want some color into your home get these because they're purple and they're pretty and they're freaking cute and beautiful and easy to propagate love you forever my last favorite houseplant is this Deschidia. This is a green cascade Deschidia. Super freaking cute. This pot is kind of wet because I just watered it this morning. But oh my god. So cute. It's a trailing plant and it's like a neon green. So it's freaking beautiful. I have it in a south facing window. So it gets a little bit of direct sun. And it's been doing pretty well actually. Look at it. Oh my god. It has a clover inside. I don't know if you can tell. It's like deep in there. It's like right there. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell. Super cute and fun and easy to take care of. I got this at Summer Winds Nursery and it's so freaking beautiful. I cannot wait for it to trail. And the color is like a neon green. So it's like really pretty. Beautiful. Highly recommend getting this one too. It's super cute and fun and I just love it. Hmm, let me show you guys my least favorite because I feel like this is going to be a really short video. Let me think of my least favorites. Oh, my least favorite. My number one least favorite house plant is a sensitive plant. Let me show you guys. This right here is not my swag <laughs> she's sleeping right now why are you sleeping baby girl she's like half dead oh my gosh but yeah this is my number one least favorite house plant i love her but i hate her at the same time because she needs to be misted every day she needs to be watered oh maybe she needs watering oh let me water her really quick oh no wonder why she's sleeping she needs water <laughs> Kind of sleeping right now because i just watered it and it needed some water it's very hard to take care of you have to water it a whole bunch i miss it every single day and like i don't know it just needs a lot of watering and care and it's just a lot of work and i'm not about a lot of work so here it is she's super beautiful though that's all to say like when you touch her so freaking beautiful and alive like wow love her but also hate her because you are so hard why but yeah least favorite house plant calathea this is my second least favorite house plant because i don't know she needs to be misted every day i'm not about misting every day she needs a humidifier too like she's kind of sleeping right now do you need a little spray baby girl i think she does Let's spray her a little i spray her every morning so it's just like my daily routine 
But yeah, this is a Calithea. Um, very hard to take care of if you're a first time houseplant parent. She's pretty cute, I would say. She just needs a lot of tender love and care. And yeah, this is her. She's super freaking beautiful. This is another least favorite houseplant I don't really like. I thought it was a watermelon peperomia because it looks like a watermelon peperomia, but I guess it isn't. I got it when it was like already kind of dying, so leaves were always falling, and I don't know. I think it's doing okay now, but I don't know. We'll see. Super cute though, but it's like... It's a whatever plant to me. I'm just here to take care of it. It's super cute and it was super expensive too. Well, at least the place that I got it at was super expensive. But yeah, don't really recommend getting this one. I don't know, you can get it if you want. I don't know, maybe I'm just like not taking care of it very well. Maybe because I got it when it was already dying, but I don't know. This is another least favorite house plant. This is the last least favorite house plant that I don't really like. This is a Thanksgiving cactus. I don't know, it's beautiful when it blooms. That's all I have to say, but it's just like, I don't know, it's just kind of weird looking and like, maybe when it grows bigger, I'll like it, like when it actually has a lot. But I don't know, it's just my least favorite. It's easy to take care of though, but it's just like ugly when it's not blooming. But it has pretty colors. I like how it's pink. It's so cute, I still love him. It's just one of my least favorite house plants. That is it. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more. I kind of weaned the end of this video because I didn't know I was going to do a least favorite houseplants video. I decided to record my least favorite houseplants because at the end of the video of doing my favorite houseplants, it was like too short. So I was like, why not? And I kind of just weaned it and set it at the top of my head. If you're interested in watching my videos, subscribe. Don't forget to do that. And yeah, I love you so much. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace. What's up, everyone? My name is Yellow Joy, and let's just take a moment to appreciate my snake plant. It has yellow mushrooms. Whoa. Whoa. You know, like that song, Tangerine by Glass Animals? And in the background, there's like a little boy going, whoa. Glass Animals is my favorite band, so go listen to it. I'm out of breath. You know what I mean? Jelly Bean. Oh my god, he's so heavy.